Hello and how are you, Mark here? Yes, indeed, Mark here. Now, we've done this picture. And we're going to colour it. I wasn't going to, but I think I will. Because I think it'll look nice when it's coloured in. Now, what we got here in these characters is this is Diggy the mole. As you can probably see, he's a mole. And actually, yes, he is a mole. And he does, in fact, live in a hole. How about that? Good, isn't it? You could almost write a song about that, couldn't you? Now, this mole, the is a bit of an adventurer in his own right. As any of you that have been watching these videos or following me on Facebook would know because he did in actual fact build a flying dustbin which is quite remarkable within itself and yes it did fly <coughs> excuse me until the weasels shot it out of the sky yes and they crash landed but that's another story. But yes, Diggy the Mole. Not a terribly original nickname, but he likes it. Now, this particular mole. He's a friend of Grandfather Badger's, who's also here. He's a chap that looks a bit like a badger, because he is a badger, wearing a nice bow tie. And, uh, His favourite pale blue jumper. Just like the jumper my granddad used to wear. Yes, that is where I got the idea from. And actually, because I like the colour blue as well. And this is a delicious blue. Nice and bright, which is what you want, isn't it? Nice and bright. We like bright colours. These are the trusty watercolour pencils that I use a lot. And if you're using them on a good quality watercolour paper, you do in actual fact get a nice grainy effect which is quite pleasing. And we like that a lot. We do indeed, we like that a lot. We like that a lot. See if we can make these you know, bow tie a bit brighter. Because we like doing that. Grandfather Badger, that is. Grandfather Badger. And 
I suppose we'd better work out who the other characters are. Now then, I, as I've said before, tend to make these drawings up as I go along. But apart from Grandfather Badger and Well, I don't know if that's the colour I meant to get or not. I don't think it is, but, but anyway, that's all right. Because we're going. This is a gonk. He's a lovely chap. These are very friendly, very loyal, and I know what you're thinking. Well, all I can see. Is a nose, a hat, and a beard and some feet. But there is more to him than that. But this is how they are normally when they're relaxed, so to speak. They can, however, on the odd occasion. As you'll find out if you continue to follow me and oh yes please subscribe we could do with a few more subscribers we got eight had nine but some chap left which I don't know why but that's entirely up to him Now, I don't, he wanted to be friends on YouTube, and I don't know how to do that. I don't know if he meant subscribe to his page. Perhaps somebody could tell me what that means, I don't know. Because I'm new here. Yes, yes, I've only been here a couple of weeks. Nice though, I enjoy it. Good fun. Watching everybody else's videos as well. Good, clean fun. Making these videos. Oh, well, I enjoy it anyway. I hope you can see that. I think you can. I think it's pretty well said. Because this is a bit of a... I know. I should be telling you all my secrets, should I? But this is a bit of a... No, I wouldn't say amateurish necessarily but then again I probably would because I'm videoing this on my old smartphone and I don't even know if it's a smartphone I don't actually suspect it is anyway it's an old phone and it's got a couple of elastic bands around it holding it onto a tablet bracket. I know. There you are. And then you thought this was all part of some huge studio with cameras and lights and all that, all the trimming, so to speak. Well, it's not. Just it low me. And some gonks. And some witches. And some goblins. Some trolls. And they all live in my head. They do. They live in my head. And some people might say that's the best place for them. But we don't think so. We like to share. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Something for you to watch and laugh at. Yes, you can laugh at me if you want. I don't mind. There you are. Moly's got a little pink nose. Well, I think moles have, actually. If you look at them, I... 
can't say I've spent a great deal of time in the mole studying world, but you never know. I might get the tap to do a bit more one day. Yes, I like moles. Not that I've actually had a great dealings with many, I've got to be honest with you. I don't have any in my lawn. Because they can actually uh, be a bit of a problem if you get them in your lawn. Because they dig tunnels. They certainly do dig tunnels. And that isn't always a good idea. And you want to keep a nice lawn. But there we are. Now these gonks tend to have the same colour shoes as their hoods. But this one is slightly different. Because I'm using a slightly different green. Now, why are you saying did I do that? And I'm saying to you, I don't know. I think it's because that was the green lamp lamp in my hand at the time. But there we are. That's that's, that's not gonna you're not gonna stop a speeding man on a horse. Now then, somebody I know used to say that, but I don't know why, and I don't know who it was. I can't remember. So that as a story was a bit of a non-starter, really. Wasn't it? Still, I do, I warn you, talk rather a lot of nonsense. And I hope you don't mind. Because that's just the way it is. And like I said before, if you don't want to watch the video because the old fella's talking nonsense... You can leave and make yourself a cup of tea. I don't want you to. I want you to stay. For obvious reasons. My new best friend. But it's up to you. Now. I'm darting around here a bit. Basically. I try to use. Is the colour I'm going to eat. I'm using to sort of do whatever bits I'm going to do. Now that's a bit of fun, isn't it? As if by magic. Yes, well, it wasn't actually magic as such. But it was me. Yes, we got a nice new... Green with orange check coat now, and we granddad. Oh, granddad Badger, he's proud of that. Very smart, isn't it? Uh, maybe as smart as Molly in his flying jacket. He likes his flying jacket as well. Very smart, we say. And all that sort of thing. No, I actually don't know if he can actually fly a plane. He can fly, because I've seen him fly a dustbin. Yeah, a plastic dustbin. With balloons tied to it. Yeah, that was his pride and joy, that was. Until the weasels shot it out of the sky. And they were working for a rather nasty witch that was asked, uh, and as far as I know, is still after George Badger's feet. Now, I don't know why a witch would want a badger's feet, really. If I'm absolutely honest, it's something to do with a spell. A power spell, that's all I know. And, yeah, you know, I know some of these witches' spells were Eye of Newt. Yeah, that's one, they do that quite a bit, Eye of Newt. 
poor old newts. Poor old newts, isn't it? That's what they tell me. See, now then, I'm not sure who this fella is with just a beard and a hat and just legs and arm. I can't see he's got no body. I don't know if that's a song, is it? I got no body. I don't know. It sounds like it should be. Yeah, he's a quite handsome fella. Not that you can see his face or anything, but there's more than one way to be handsome in this world. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yes, indeed. Now then, what we've got here... ...is a witch. And I think, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure... This is a, what they call a Grindle Witch. Now, I don't know what that is. It's just something that they call these particular kinds of witches. Now, they live in forests, mostly. They don't like the open spaces. They like the trees. They can live in trees. Quite often, they live in hollowed-out dead trees. And what they do, they usually cover them in ivy. Now I know what you're saying, what's ivy got to do with it? But that is neither funny nor clever. But it gives the appearance of the tree being alive. And it also helps them hide. Because they're very good climbing trees, window witches. I think this one's called Phyllis, I'm not sure. I, I might be wrong there. I mean, I could well be wrong. It doesn't really sound much of a witchy name to me. Or does it? I don't know. Perhaps it does. Perhaps I'm being a bit unfair. Perhaps I'm being a bit unfair. Now then, you see... This is starting to take shape. Now, it's not nice when it's got a bit of colour in it. I think. Anyway. You may not think that. And that's up to you. It's what they call... A free world. Is it? I don't know. Yes, I don't know if you're interested in this sort of illustration or not, but they're quite good fun. I find them quite good fun. While away the time, you have something nice at the end of it. That's half of it, isn't it? Well, what colour do you think we should have Moly's T-shirt? Let's just pick out a random colour. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't want a brown. What about... Ah, we've got a nice purple here. Purple. Indigo. Purple. I don't know. Because we were all drawing rainbows the other day. And that's got indigo in it. But I'm never quite sure what in the OAs. Oh, I know. Oh, gracious me, you'll find out there's lots of things I don't know. Lots and lots of things. Hey, what about that? That is looking quite smart, me. I think you're gonna give Grandad a pair of purple trousers. That'd be kind of good, wouldn't it? Now, I think if what we do, if we do this lightly, or relatively lightly, 
Like so. And then we could give him press a little bit harder with the pencil so we can get some checks in here. If he can have his purple. I don't know if that purple goes with that blue. I think it does. And then we do that. How about that? Yes, that looks quite good, I think. Coming on a bit. Right then. Here we be again. Now, I don't know about this uh, old badger's coat here. I really don't. I don't know. I'm going to put some brown on it. Darken it down a bit. I think just to... So you've got a hint of green still. Darken it down a bit. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know at all. Well, there we go. We do that, can't we? What do you think? I don't know. Now then, we've toned that down a bit, I think. I don't know if we have or not. What we're going to do, I think, and I can't really see, I think we're going to, Make some of these lines a bit darker with these but it, and give it a bit of maybe depth to it. I think that might help the situation. Now then, because it doesn't seem to be working quite as we had it, I don't think. Now, I think mean, the way you do these sorts of things, like sleeves and lapels, and to get those right, you just have to look at pictures. I wanted, I remember the other day I was doing a group of weasels sat around a table playing cards. So I went on Google Good old Google. I googled men playing cards and several pictures came up of men playing cards and I used those pictures to get how the chaps were sat if you know what I mean. I think you do. I think you do. Now that looks a bit better because we've given it a bit more definition now, haven't we? And that quite often works. That's quite often. And I'll tell you something else because what I'm doing is something that you shouldn't ever do, really. But I'm doing it and I know I shouldn't be doing it. And it makes me cross. I'm putting my hand on my own work and smudging it. And you can see that it's smudging. <laughs> And that makes the lines fainter. I should be wearing a glove, which is still prone to smudge, really, I suppose. Or 
the trusted sheet of paper over the work I've already done. But I would do that normally, but in this kind of exercise, when I want to show my workings, for a better word, then it's probably just as well that I let you see what I'm doing. I think you can just about see what I'm doing, I don't know. I keep checking. I can't really, there we are, that's better. Move the light round a bit. I know, it's all technical stuff, isn't it? Well, how, I mean, you ever go to a big film show, Steven Spielberg, yeah, that's what he'll say. Here, he said, here, move that light around a bit, please. What do you mean that doesn't sound a bit like Steven Spielberg? I've never heard a chap speak, so how do I know him? I don't think I have, actually. Oh, I don't know, though. I suppose I must have done here to do an interview or something. Mr. Spielberg. Because it used to be, I, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. You don't know who Mr. De Cecil B. DeMille. Oh, a very famous movie director. You, you, you look him up as well. Oh, yes, in the, well, that's the golden era of Hollywood, he was doing it all. Oh, yes, way before Mr. Spielberg came along. Way before that, oh, George Lucas. Now, he's a chap, isn't he? He's a chap. That Star Wars, oh, that's a bit of a, well, I think mean, that's, I think Steven Spielberg might have had something to do with that as well, actually. I wouldn't swear to it, and I'm sure there's people out there that are going to tell me I'm wrong. So you just as well ring me up and tell me I'm wrong. Because I, God forbid, I'd ever be right about anything. Very rarely. And it's my channel. You'd think they'd let me have some allowances, wouldn't you? Oh, no, 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 no. We won't let you do that, they said. No, we won't. Now we're going to give this witch here blue arms. There we go. Now I don't expect anybody can remember what we called her. No, I know she's a Grindle witch. Oh, we didn't give her a name. Oh, that's, well, that's interesting. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we should. But that will be another time. Anyway, I've enjoyed doing this little bit of doodling and a bit of yapping. And I hope you subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps me out a lot. So thank you very much and goodbye.